Hi, my name is Sharice, otherwise known as Denkai from DenkaiDesigns.com. Um, I'm a bit late with my floss tube update. I do apologise, I'm about 10 days late. My sticking to a schedule is not working out very well at all. <laughs> yeah, so I'm 10 days late, so I do apologise. It just means that I'm going to have to stitch 30% faster to get the same amount of progress in for the, like the next 20 days before my next update. So I'm going to be fast stitching. Right, um, yes, hopefully, I do apologise for my last video, um, not that I was in a bad mood, I wasn't in a bad mood, I was just, I was really stressed and a bit down to be honest, um, and I'm feeling a bit better, a bit better now, um, I was having a lot of problems with my son going to school and getting excluded and things like that, um, yeah, so we're still trying to get him in a special school, he has autism. Uh, we're still trying to get him in a special school, having to fight to get him in there, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I have noted down a couple of things that I wanted to share with you because I just thought they were absolutely hilarious. Um, they are like sun related, but never mind. Um, right, last, was it last night or night before? Um, I was laughing at something. And I don't know where this came from because I never used to do it. But you know when you do like a little snort when you laugh? Um, and I think one day I was probably just taking the piss off of someone who was snorting when they laugh. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, you know. I can't do it now because, you know, there's pressure. You're watching me. I can't do it. Um, but yeah, I was laughing and there was like a little <laughs> snort in there. And Eden, my little boy, turned around to me and goes, Mummy, why are you pretending to be a pig? <laughs> Okay, I never really thought of it like that, but of course that's oh, there's a little fly. Of course that's how the you know he's gonna see it. Like, <laughs> what are you doing that for? <laughs> um, yeah, so which made me laugh even more, and made me snort even more. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, another thing you said this the, the logic in this is just amazing. But obviously the autism and stuff, he's very um, literal with everything. And he's got this um, app on his computer and it's like games and um, literacy and stories and things, you know, education through play and stuff like that. Anyway, he turns around to me the other day and he goes, Mummy, you don't eat sand, but you eat sandwiches. And I'm like, right, okay. You know, the logic in that, yes. And he's like, you can eat sand, but only if it comes with witches. Not quite sure that one is as sound as the first one, <laughs> well, there we go. So yeah, <laughs> we need some witches for our sand so we can have lunch. Um, and the second one, the last one that he came out with was, um, you can lick ice cream, but you don't lick your shoes. <laughs> this app is great, I love it. It's entertaining and, you know, it's teaching kids, you don't lick your shoes, you don't eat the sand. <laughs> So yeah, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> and they just, I'm telling everyone because it just made me laugh so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I'll get on to the stitchy stuff, shall I? Um, my last video, uh, Mike, my husband, said, show them the finish that you did because I don't think you did. Um, and this is the one that I was supposed to get framed. Is it framed? Is it what works? Um, yeah, so I haven't done that. But I do have it to show you and I will endeavour to... To get it framed and everything so that is that is uh rock paper scissors Sis, i'm trying to read backwards here scissor cuts paper paper covers rock rock crush it i'm gonna have to read normally rock crushes lizard lizard poison spark bit of star trek in there uh spock smashes scissors scissors decapitate lizard Lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporises rock, and as it has always been, rock crushes scissors. There you go. That is from, or if you can tell me, you get bonus points. Where's it from? Da -da -da. Big Bang Theory. Yes, it is. It's the game that they made up. They put a bit of Spock in there, put a lizard in there. At least I think that's where it's from. If it's not, let me know, but I think that's where it's from. Um, yeah, and I saw this online. It was a free chart. Um, I will link it. I apologise if I've shown this before. I can't remember. It has literally been a year waiting to um, to be fully finished. I know. <laughs> I did this on 25 count, one over one, and it came out really cute. Really cute. I was working on my little French knots for the little lizard eyes, if that focuses up. 
and the paper I did change the little paper bits and did a bit more swirly stuff but yeah there we go yay that is that I will try and get it framed Mike Mike just made it in I'm very sorry I'll try and sort it out I have to watch a Vonna film, a Vonna film, a Vonna clip. If you don't know about Vonna, Vonna is a twisted, twisted stitcher and she basically teaches everyone how to finish things. She's amazing. She does it as a business, but she does loads of videos helping stitchers who want to kind of do it themselves. Um, she taught me how to make project bags like this. Or project bags with the Velcro. She taught me how to make those. And so I'll look at her finishes and I will finish that up. Um, yeah, hopefully for next time. <laughs> uh, right, where are we? Let's start whips. Let's start with the one I pulled out. I've forgotten what is actually in these because, um, yeah, <laughs> what is in this one? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to have to label them. I'm going to have to think of a labelling sy this, um, system, like a little tag or something like that. This is... I'm actually a mermaid by Clouds Factory. That is the chart. Let me get my board. Ah! I don't know where my board is. Just hang on. Oh, I'm looking a bit dishevelled. Hang on one second and I'll find my board. Whoa. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I needed my board. I want to have my trusty metallic board I like something to kind of prop things on oh you can see a reflection there Ooh. Ooh. anyway sorry right here we go this is my have I shown it I'm actually a mermaid this is by clouds factory I have done this on fourteen count yeah fourteen count and this is like a, is it cerulean green? Um, I just got it from so and so on Ada, 14 count. Right, here we go. There you go. Can I get some more needle minders to, yeah, I'll clean them. <laughs> right, here we go. Try and hold it down for you to see. Nice bit of progress on there, I think. Uh, we did some more on the bottom. Um, oh, Mike, can you do it before, please? Bling. That's what it was before. Um, I finished off the mermaid. Finished off like the lining of the mermaid on the letters. Um, done like I remember doing the little pearl thing. Um, yeah, what's left on there? Left to do, we have. Let me see that. We've got the turtle. A little turtle. Looks really cute. It reminds me of Squirt from Finding Dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Um, and yes, and I have the. Um, the other plant to do, the fern, what do you call it? I don't know what you call these. Algae! Oh, got a message, sorry. Algae. Algae? Seaweed! Seaweed! I'm so excited about seaweed! <laughs> yes, I have words! <laughs> I can speak, I have words. Um, yes, and I'll show you that. My cute little mermaid needle minder. That's new in stock. I sell needle minders, don't you still notice? Um, yes, DenkaiDesigns.com is my um, Etsy shop and I sell needle minders and I got this one and I confess I did actually get it in stock because I just wanted to use it on this project. How cute! Purple hair. I don't have purple hair. I think last time I went red and now it's faded but I do like purple hair. I might just have to go purple hair again just so to be a mermaid. Oh, actually, I have to finish that. I'm actually a bit. <laughs> Not only do I have to finish the little squirt, I have to actually put in I'm actually, because at the minute it's just mermaid. I'm not actually anything. So yes, that is that one. I really like it. Really enjoying doing that. I love it. I love doing 14 count because I just stitch and it's really easy. I use um, 
a lot of the tammy is like the Italian method, which is where you don't kind of go down the back and then go around and then go up. It's normally kind of where you like fork through the Ada and then up and then fork through. I'll have to do a video and show you, but that's good. That's that. Right. What else do we got? Do we got? Mm. Speak, Charisse, speak. Here we go. I will show you my other whip. This one. I'm sure a lot of you will know this one because it's quite popular. This is the Under the Sea, Lakeside Under the Sea cell. I'm doing mine on. Is that mod? Please tell me that's not mod. So, and I think it's just the, the colouring. <laughs> this is hand dyed fabric and there's a bit of a, like a, a darky patch. I'm thinking, because oh. sometimes I take these outside. Obviously, it's summer, playing in the garden. Um, and my son likes the paddling pool and then sometimes he gets a bit carried away with the splashing because he thinks it's hilarious to splash mommy and see mommy go no don't splash me anyway <laughs> oh can we have a before picture please Mike Bing. this is a before haha <laughs> I've got my head at the top this is now that is where we've done yes i admit there's not that much there but jellyfish i'm trying to get it so you can see it can you see that hopefully you can see it and not just a big blooming reflection because all i can see is reflection hmm. anyway Jellyfish. Let me get it right close up. Let's put that back on there and show you the jellyfish. There we go. I did some jellyfish. I was thinking about doing just one of them, but in the end, I thought the time it takes me to do two of them um, is going to be less than it takes me to kind of reach out the whole thing. Um, I could have done it, but I'm not really feeling that adventurous. So I just sort of sod it. So not only am i behind on the jellyfish um i'm also missing the mermaid and then this month was stingray not stingray is it stingray what's the one with like the flat and then yeah stingray 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 da, 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 da. i think it was stingray anyway so there's three months there <clears throat> this needs some serious work catching up like serious work like it's going to take a couple of weeks to get that back on track and I don't want to get behind on it, I really don't so yes, effort is required oh if you were wondering, this is a hand dyed fabric this is Poseidon let me show you the fabric because it is lovely um, I like getting my fabrics from Chromatic Alchemy because they are the best for England, I'm in England obviously I don't really um, have a lot of access to hand-dyed fabrics over in the states i prefer ones in england because um you have to wait a few weeks anyway for hand-dyed fabrics and then for the the traveling time it's you know two or three weeks it's different if they post it straight away then i don't mind waiting two or three weeks but it's like double the length of time if you know what i mean plus they're awesome they are awesome i do really like them she surges them all which you know i kind of think if i'm paying for a fabric i want it surged I don't want to have to, you know, search it myself. Just lazy. <laughs> yes, give me nice fabric. So that is Poseidon, 32 count. That is that. Next. What is next, Cherise? I hear you say. Well, this is, I'll get it out of a little bag. This is my Mania 17 start. Um, if you're kind of new to things, Stitch Mania is a Facebook group. Uh, it's got quite a lot of members, like six, seven thousand now, I think. Um, and what they have is lots of sales and, you know, st sales stitch alongs where people kind of stitch the same thing. And one of the things that they are running is Mania 17, which is where on the 17th of every month you have a new start. I don't do that much stitching, so I've got like starts coming out of my ears and it's going to get to the end of the year and I'm just going to be like, I don't know what to stitch. I have that many. Anyway, <laughs> this one, my... Stitch Mania start for July. I had to work that out then. My Mania start for July is Home of a Needle Worker 2. 
We will not debate if it's grammatically correct because we had that last plus tube for I don't know how long it was, but it was far too long. But Home of the Needleworker 2. Not quite sure how we're gonna spell that, but Home of the Needleworker 2. Let me get the pattern off. I normally stick the pattern down to the Q snap as I'm doing it. Um mainly so you know I don't have to like look at what I'm doing. I can just mm -mm -mm. Right, here we go. This is where I am. So, it's a new start, so there isn't a before to look at. But as you can see, home of a Nina worker, that is the little house. Um, a lot of those stitches, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen some of this. A lot of those stitches are halfies. I'm going to cross the tops off. I've just done it so I've kind of got a basic structure. Um, I kind of go around doing the one half um, so I make sure that I line everything up because as you can see the bottom windows and the top windows they're not aligned and I don't have to frog so I'm just doing one row. It's not variegated it's just plain, plain floss so I can do that. Um, so I don't have to kind of if I'm going to frog something and mess something up, I don't have to go over two lanes of stitches, I just do the one. Obviously I'm going to go back and top them off, and in some places I have, if I'm 100% sure that they're correct. Um, yeah, so I've done that. Have you seen this? Look at that little car needle line there. That's so cute. I didn't know what to put with this, but I thought house. House has a little cat in. I like to match my needle minders to things I do. You probably know that by now. I'll tell you again. So that one is in there. Right. What else do we have? <laughs> just look at the state. Look, honestly. I know. I'm terrible. I just shove it back. Well, you just just seen me. I just shove it back in. But it irons out, doesn't it? Hopefully. Right. This is my baby sampler. Not for me, I haven't had a baby, for my little niece. It was absolutely adorable. Insert picture of niece here. Bling. She's so cute. Uh, this is a baby sampler for her. This is Little Dove Designs, Rainbow Birth Sampler. And obviously I'm not going to put Connie Ruth down there. I'll put Eleanor because her name is Eleanor. I don't know why. This is where I've got with this. I don't know why, but I don't like stitching it. Oh, the second one, if you'll notice the, on the white, two of the rows, uh, single, and that's a double. Because I was thinking, I don't like the coverage on that, but then I've done the double, and I'm like, I don't like that either. I'm going to go, I'll frog up, frog up? <laughs> I'll frog the, that bit of the fence and get rid of it. I think it's the white. I don't like stitching white. So if you're a designer, don't put white in don't like white. I'll do it obviously I'll try I'll literally just try and plow through and get the fence done and then the little hearts the little hearts and the clouds the clouds aren't so bad it's that freaking fence so anyway but I've done like the little the little path and I like to do in the little trees a little bit of flowers so yes I really need to put effort into that one as well I don't know why I'm pulling a face. I do like the pattern. I think it's the white. I don't know. There's some days you just get a... Oh, I don't know if I can rip off a stitch in that. So literally on that I've done like a day. I think. If that. There's a before. Mike can you put before up if we didn't previously. That's what it was like before. I don't even know if there's anything there. <laughs> I don't know how much I've done on that. But never mind. Um, right. Last one. This one has a big posh frame. Let me just <clears throat> take the chart off because I don't want to show you charts for copyright and stuff. Let me get this off. Put a bit more tension in this if I can. Oh, no, I can't. Anyway, let me move that down out of the way so you can see things a bit better. Right, this is a Mirabilia. I absolutely love this. 
is that focusing? I really hope it is. I'll try to get the glare away. This is Bluebeard's Princess. And there'll be in here. Let me cover my face and see if it focuses a bit better. I love it. I love it. I love stitching it. It's amazing. Um, if I could, I would think I would stitch this all the time. Because it's that good. Um, and it's on... Um, it's on an even weave. Um, 32 count even weave. I'll show you the fabric. It is from Chromatic Alchemy. It's called Flotsam and Jetsam. I don't normally go for darker hand dyed fabrics, but when I use the viewfinder, uh, the fabric viewer, sorry, if you're not um, au fait, is that a word? I think it is. If you're not uh, um, experienced or knowledgeable uh, about the fabric viewer, I'll put a link below. If you watch my video, Kitting Up a Mirabilia, in which case I think I kitted up this one, um, I'll show you how to choose the fabric and match up the fabric to the chart and everything. It's really good. I don't normally go for dark fabrics, but this one, I tried it and I was like, yes, yes, I like it. Um, so yeah, that is what that is. Um, 32 count even weave, Flotsam and Jetsam from Chromatic Alchemy. I will show you where I was before. Mike? And I'll show you where I am now. I'm trying to show you with no glare. You can see all at the bottom. We've done some more of the the greeny red stuff. The scales going up. You kind of got the the twist of her body going up there. Let me put the. I don't know if you can see. I have done some of the beading, um, <clears throat> yeah, you can see some of the beading at the bottom, I think, can you see that, let me move it up slowly, hopefully you can, and I'm not just moving like an idiot, <laughs> yeah, I like it, that is going to be like the pictures as always do not do justice to Mirabilia's I don't know why they just why they can't get a maybe that picture's not that bad but they're just they're beautiful so beautiful love them so that is where we are with that um right okay yeah, out of the way. That is the board. Have I done this one? What was this one? Oh, that's my mermaid one. Right, other things I was stitching on that I haven't touched. I haven't touched the um, Stitch Rovia Sal. I haven't done that. I think that's the only one. Yeah. Right. Where are we? Done. Dun, 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 dun. Done whips, plans. My stitchy plans are do the three months of Under the Sea Sal, finish I'm Actually a Mermaid, and I'm going to put in here a little disclaimer and frame it. And frame Mike's finish. I'm going to do them. Do some more on the Mirabilia, Bluebird's Princess. Um, and I'm going to keep Little House of the Needleworker downstairs for. If I get a spare 10 minutes when I'm cooking or something or, you know, and I'll try and do some of that. Also, obviously as we discussed the Mania, Mania 17. Um, let me just get out my little things for this one to show you. As we discussed the Mania 17, new start on the 17th of every month. My new start for, sorry, itchy nose, floss tube nose. Uh, my new start for... August, it is August, so on August the 17th I shall start this one. Little autumn chart. Autumnal, it's an autumnal chart. And this is from, it's an autumn sampler from Cross Stitch Gold, issue 131. I was actually given this by Davina, who goes online with Floss Tube and Instagram as Mumula. 
Romilly Stitches. I'll put a link to her channel below. Um, and I said to her, that is amazing. Where would you get the chart from? Um, and she was just like, oh, I'll send you when I've finished. And she was lovely enough to send me it. So there you know. There we go. So I am all prepared. I have, oh, I have these to go on as well. I got these from a stitchy box that I did last year. I don't normally do stitchy boxes, but I thought I'd give it a go and see what it was about. Um, and I got these little, you can see, little leaves. Excuse the state of my nails. And a little acorn, so I'm going to put those on. The chart, you can't actually see it. I don't know why I'm going like that. Can you see the beads? Can you see the beads? <laughs> it's got, got be I don't know why I wanted to. It's got beads on, apparently. So, I'm doing it on 16 count Rustico. I think she did hers on 18 count, but I've gone to 16. Because it's going to be a relaxing one. Because I find the higher counts I have to concentrate more. So, go relaxing. So, I've gone 16 count Rustico Ada Oatmeal. Um, I've got some the beads. Gold, green and the brown. Let me put the picture up. Obviously, you've got like the golden ones and then the green ones around there, and, and I haven't. I've just gone for a normal people scare me. Need a reminder because I was feeling that way inclined when I tried this up. Obviously, <laughs> I was like, go away. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm quite pleased it's got little beads on there. I can you know add stuff to it. So I'm liking it. Let me put these back in there. I think I might have to actually get a Q-snap or something for it. I'm going to have to search that fabric. Get a Q-snap or something for it. So there we go. Get back in there, you little seed bead. So I'm excited about starting that. And I'm excited about finishing that damn mermaid thing. And then I can put it up somewhere. Yay! Right, done whips. Done my plans, autumn chart, haul. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have been on eBay. Okay, um, I was kind of, I saw loads of people and like, oh, I got this on eBay, got this on eBay, and I thought, oh, eBay envy. <laughs> I was like, I want a bargain, I need a bargain. So, yeah, I looked and there was one to be found. I will show you. This is haul. Oh, first off, I'll show you my haul that I got before the eBay. Um, this is from Chromatic Alchemy. I've been. I got some. You know when the um, so and so had the offer on charts three for two. I got about six Mirabili mermaids because I was like, yeah, Mirabili mermaid. And I went on the viewfinder fabric viewer and I picked up some fabrics from Chromatic Alchemy and I thought oh I'll match them up that goes with that that goes with that although I didn't write down my choices so now I've got mermaids and fabric and I'm gonna have to rematch them all but anyway I know this goes with one of them <laughs> this is spring at lakeside and I normally get there you, go. you can see that it's actually a lot greener than it looks yeah a couple of pink bits in there it is a lot pinky greenier than I thought it would be. That is uh, Spring at Lakeside. It's 16 count Ada. I normally get um, the higher counts, uh, but I think I just thought, oh, I'll try and do one in Ada. Can't remember which one I thought that, but there you go. I have to rematch them all. <laughs> there you go. Apologies for the rustling. This one. I love this one and I love the fabric of the month for this year this year for this month and I'm still waiting on that how do you wait in this it's so popular um but yeah I love the fabric of the month for this month so I might actually have to go and buy it I'm sure I can find a mermaid to fit in it <laughs> this is called Polynesium it's 32 count Murano nice it's a bit greener than it looks it looks gray i promise you it's not i'm gonna get some no that doesn't help at all <laughs> yes it is greener 
greener than it looks. I think that'll be quite nice for something. There we go, put that away. Make sure I stick the label with it. Oh, oh no, no idea. That's it there. Right, on with the haul. The eBay haul was, it went up to £80. I know you think, 80 quid? What's she buying for 80 quid? I will show you. It was like a job lot, so there was loads of things. So I'm just going to run through, very briefly, lots of little pieces of Ada in there. Ada, 16 count piece. There's another piece there. A big packet, so any kind of cards and the likeies will be on there. Loads of charts. There was a memorabilia chart there, one of the early ones, the Christmassy ones. Um, Crystal Christmas it's called. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm more of a mermaid, maybe a fairy, definitely a witchy kind of gal. Lots of ABC charts. Um, some black work stuff. What's in there? What else have we got? Loads and loads of like the black work and the lavender and lace ones and just kind of put them all in a folder oh this one I felt really sorry for her to be honest I went and it was a daughter and she she said that um and her mum was there and I was like oh do you not you're not stitching anymore and she's like I can't see anymore and I was like oh that's real sad um this one's called firefly fairies that was the chart but look included in it was this and I was just like oh my god she's literally done it all including all of the beading can you see that all of that lovely beading she's done it all I think the only thing that's not done is like some of the skin work on around there and that is it and I was just like oh that's I felt real sad for her that, do you know what I mean, that she couldn't see it because she was quite elderly, um, that she couldn't see anymore and I was oh, and to have it so nearly finished as well, oh. well, yeah. so yeah, so that was in it, I'm going to shove that there, cross stitch type, oh, pattern, Oh, it's DMC, Red Clover Fairy. So yeah, lo there's, there's more stuff. <laughs> loads and loads of patterns. Beads. They're all Mill Hill beads. They've got their little tags with the Mill Hill numbers on in there. So I'll kind of get my Sharpie out and sharpen them up. There's a couple of hoops. Okay, now we get to the, I, I like charts, but I love floss and beads. A couple of boxes, empty boxes. Beads, lots of different Mill Hill colour beads. Not sure if those ones are, I've got no labels on that. Beads. More boxes of beads. I think you're beginning to see why this is a bit of a bargain. £80. I think the reason it was so low is because when I think when non-stitchers list things on eBay, they don't actually put in enough details so people can kind of really appreciate what they're buying. Like it was just like beads, floss, um, patterns, things like that. If she just said you know there's like what 30 mil hill bead packs and you're like wow that's a lot or if she just said uh, 25 or so spools of different color acrylic then you kind of get the point like wow that's you know that's pretty decent um they're full of needles Two pots full of needles, some speciality threads, them. box of speciality threads here. What 
lots of variegated threads, some bobbins, some of the, the whisper threads, the gold. And if you're like, wow, that's a bargain for 80 quid. I haven't finished. This is practically a full DMC set. They're completely full of DMC colours. So I think you can kind of truly appreciate, wow. If she'd have said, you know, full set of DMC and everything that was in it, I think it would have gone for a lot more than £80. Um, so yeah, it was a definite bargain. Bargain fine for me, I think. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit sad that, you know, it's hard for her to do anymore. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, if you're going to do an eBay listing, list everything. Obviously not individual colours, but another thing and reason why I think it was so cheap was because she put collection only and it was, it's not what, it wasn't near me, it's about an hour and a half away from me, but her house to where I was collecting from was en route to my dad's house. So when we went to visit him for the weekend, we just literally five minute detour and picked it up. Um, yeah, but I think you should put courier on. This lot would have gone for a lot more, so definite bargain and I'm like sworn off buying things for a while <clears throat> except I'm putting a disclaimer in there before Mike takes that as word and like why have you bought more stitchy stuff one more thing have you heard of mirror mirror on the wall if you like mirabilias there's a Facebook group called mirror mirror on the wall I'll put a link to it below if you want to join um, and one thing that is gonna be run is in November um, there's a group and we're doing Mervember. So you have to stitch um, a mermaid, preferably Mirabilia, I think it has to be Mirabilia. A Mirabilia mermaid in November. Mervember. Like what they did. Um, so, yes, I might already have like three or four mermaids in stash, but I have seen, <coughs> excuse me, the Renaissance Mermaid, and I'm like, oh, there's like this drool coming down because I'm just like, that is gorgeous, so so gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure that I will have the DMC for it. Um, I will check the beads. Obviously, I'll check the credits and see what's kind of missing from what I need. But I think I've chosen the fabric as well. I think I've chosen the fabric I like to go with it. So I need to buy the chart. And I think that's pretty much it. Maybe like the odd strand of, you know, carrying variegated thread or something. And then it's done. Then I'll be ready to join Mervember. So I'm very excited about that. In fact, I'll have to see what my Stitch Mania um, November start was. And maybe switch things around, I think. Maybe. Because mermaids. Oh. <laughs> I like mermaids. Go through a mermaid phase. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Right, <clears throat> joke. I thought of a joke to tell, but it's a little bit dodgy. When I say dodgy, is it, it kind of needs to come in a warning. Um, if you are easily offended, it's not sexist, it's not racist or homophobic or anything like that. It's just slightly distasteful with a, a, a swear word in. But I'm going to put a disclaimer in because some people have delicate sensibilities and that's fair enough. But if you're like me and you like distasteful jokes, then listen on. This is from my dad. He tells it and I don't, he tells it in a Scottish accent. So I'm going to try and do, do him justice as he tells it. Um, here we go. Right. Joke. Dr. Finlay. Dr. Finlay. Not new Margaret. But Dr. Finlay, Dr. Finlay, there's a phone call. Not new, Margaret. Dr. Finlay, Dr. Finlay, it's important. Margaret, can a man not have a shite in peace? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. It's funny with dad. <laughs> right, there you go. Naughty joke that came with a warning. So if you like all, oh, oh that's a bit of a gross joke. Then you shouldn't have listened and you blame yourself. <laughs> um, I think that is everything 
Um, thank you for watching my update. I will try and have another one out at the end of the month, probably beginning of oh, what month comes after August? August, September. <laughs> In September, beginning of September. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. In fact, I'm just going to have to have a drink. I'm sorry. Ooh. Mike, please, can you cut out the drinking? Oh. Okay. Are you ready? Sorry. Right. I don't know, darling. I look like a pig, don't I? Oh, Hang a second. Let me flip it around. Me. I know. Hang on a second. I can't turn it around. Oh! But a moustache doesn't go on your chin, darling. A moustache goes, goes there. Okay. Oh, a curly one. Nice. Mm.